Hello again. Today we're going to take a look at JackTrip and Zoom. So since Zoom is such a classic tool these days, maybe you're willing to stream your band, your orchestra, whatever, to people in Zoom. And you might be asking yourself, how do I do that? How do I get my high quality JackTrip um, audio stream into Zoom? Is there a way to set it up? Uh, the answer is yes, there is. It's a bit of a workaround, but it's relatively straightforward. You might have watched my tutorial on a digital audio workstation and how you can record into that workstation from JackTrip. Uh, but if not, this is going to be another... I'm just going <clears> to <throat> talk you through it. It's roughly the same thing, but with Zoom, there's a bit of an extra... Uh, a little bit of an uh, workaround, too, with, with a little extra option you, you have to think about. So. Let's dive right in. I would recommend to you to um, download Black Hole. Um, you might know Soundflower. Those are both virtual audio drivers that create extra channels locally on your MacBook so that um, you can use those for more freedom to route audio internally. And that's what we will need. Um, just so you have an idea of how to think about this, in Zoom, you're going to look for a input, right? So you need that input to somehow give you the JackTrip output. Well, in JackTrip, the way we always did it is uh, JackTrip also uses one audio device and outputs to that audio device, right? So we have to connect these two. How do we do that? Go to existential.audio slash black hole, uh, sign up here, just input your name, a name, and you will... Um, get the app, install it, maybe have, maybe you'll have to restart your computer. And then what you can do is go to the audio MIDI setup and you will find hopefully black hole being uh, selectable here. Now what this is, is this is my uh, audio interface, my 2i2 Scarlett interface. Um, I currently don't even have a microphone connected, but it doesn't matter for the purpose of demonstration. Now you have two options. Option number one is you don't even need to communicate with people on that server. Maybe your job is just, once everything's set up and people are making music, your job is just to take what's coming from JackTrip and stream it on Zoom. Maybe you're creating a Zoom meeting and you have all the video footage in Zoom as well. And now all you gotta do is route that audio to Zoom. In that case, you could just go with Black Hole and can skip the whole explanation I'm about to give you with the aggregate device. But I am assuming that you want to also talk to people on the JackTrip server. You have your audio interface. You want to listen to what's happening, right? You want to kind of start the session and get everyone involved and then tell everyone, okay, now we're going to Zoom, three, two, one, and then maybe you will um, go offline from the server and just route that audio to Zoom with everyone playing. I don't know what your setup is, but let's do it the right way where hopefully your specific requirements are going to be fulfilled. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a um, aggregate device. We've done this before. What this is, is it's basically you can add multiple um, audio devices to one device, right? So we can now say, cool, this aggregate device, let's actually rename it and call it audio interface plus virtual, right? The virtual one being the, the black hole I'm going to use. So what we can do is we can say now this one is the Scarlet. So we'll click on the Scarlet, which is my audio interface. So input one and two is the Scarlet and output one and two is also the Scarlet. And then we will add Black Hole after that. So now we have, since um, Black Hole has 16 in and outs, we will have 18 in and outs total. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, this is now my standard device for sound input, oops, and sound output. I just did this by right clicking and uh, choosing the use this device for sound input and output option. So now that's all we needed to do in the audio devices um, setup here. Oops, so let's uh, get out of this. And now let's just revisit what we've always done in JackTrip. We uh, have our setup. We have 128 frames, okay. We have the default interface, which we just set to our newly created audio interface plus virtual uh, aggregated device. And what we can do now is we can say input channels and output channels. Let's just go with four because we will need more than just the two audio interface ones. We will need two additional ones that we will then route to Zoom, okay? So I'm just gonna hit okay or cancel in this case because I've already set it up. 
I'm gonna hit start. Now the Jack Demon is running in the background. And as I'm uh, opening the terminal, we can now go and connect with the server we want. In this case, this one right here is actually matching the buffer size of uh, my setup in QJack control. So as you can see, receive connection from peer. I am actually hearing a clap. I don't know if you can hear that. So this is a signal, a loop playing on that server I've connected to, which is great for demonstration purposes right now. What's the next step? Now let's get to Zoom, right? Or let's actually check out what this connection window is doing. So let's expand these little arrows. Uh, let's actually disconnect all just to see what's going on. This is the server where everyone is on, right? This is our band. This is the orchestra we want to output to that final Zoom um, meeting. And this might be just a mono sum, I guess. Maybe it's stereo even. But where do we route these receives to now so we can get them in Zoom? Uh, we set that input 1 and 2 are our audio interface and 3 through 18 are the black hole channels, right? 1 through 16. Same for the output. 1 and 2 is always my audio interface and 3 through 18 outputs are also the black hole channels. So what we're doing here essentially is we're also routing our receive uh, channel from Jacktrip to these uh, to these two uh, black hole channels. And now what we can do in Zoom is we can select black hole as our input. So then we can actually route that right to Zoom while at the same time outputting it to playback one and two, which is our speakers, right? I wanna listen to what I'm gonna stream on Zoom. So that's really it. I mean, let's open Zoom. So in Zoom, I'm gonna say new meeting. And here we are. So we're gonna say join with computer audio, just like you would in a normal Zoom meeting. Now, obviously we'll have to unmute ourselves, um, but we want now to feed Zoom the input of black hole, right? Because that's what we're also sending our jack trip audio to. So here under um, microphone, that's important, whatever speakers you use, I'm using my, my normal audio interface for the sound output, but microphone, we want that black hole 16 channel. Now, um, one thing is important is that you should um, go also under, under audio, you will find down here, show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. That is Zoom's way of saying, don't use our internal ducking and compression. Actually, I think Zoom is still compressing the audio. It's probably not going to be um, as high quality as Jacktrip output is, but at least it doesn't do any sort of background noise reduction. And we don't want that, right? We don't want it to compress more in, 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 in the audio domain than it should because we already hopefully have a great mix through Jacktrip and we want to route that directly into the Zoom input. So now you might be wondering, why do we not see any input level here? Well, we have to also click this little button, which is turn on original sound. Okay, now going back to Zoom preferences, we should be seeing that there is actual input sound. Real quick, if you have an actual stereo sound on your Jacktrip server, so you do have an independent left and right channel, what you could do is you could just go in here and say receive one, my left I will route that to my left speaker and two also uh, to my right speaker. And now receive one will also go to my virtual left and my virtual right channel, right? And then make sure in Zoom, you will go to Zoom preferences and uh, click on this little button here that says stereo audio. It says here, this option enables Zoom to encode audio in stereo. A stereo capable microphone or audio interface is necessary. We do have that. So since we have selected black hole 16 channels, we have 16 channels. We definitely have two channels. So that means it's capable of sending stereo out to Zoom. And there you go, that's basically it. So now what you can do is you can have all the musicians turn on their video in that Zoom meeting so people can see them while they are hopefully muted. So the um, processed Zoom audio is not the one that's audible, but your beautiful Jacktrip audio is, is coming through. By the way, it doesn't have to be your Zoom meeting. It could be somebody else's Zoom meeting where then you join and hopefully being allowed to unmute yourself so then you can you know, the audio will just be routed in there through you as a participant and not the host.
but that's all working out. Um, please help each other out in the comments if you have questions. Uh, I hope this is doable. Thank you for watching.